Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Holo Taco 2020 holiday release, and that is the Frosted Metals collection. I got the collector's box, which I've been trying to do. I think I'm missing three of the collector's boxes at this point. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. But um, just in case you didn't know, Holo Taco is vegan, cruelty-free, and made in the United States. This box here retails for $65 for the whole thing, or if you just want one polish, each polish is $13 a piece. Now, this box, I don't enjoy the look of it as much as I have with the previous boxes, but I do feel like it does reflect the spirit of the collection. We have five uh, silver foil flakies in very pastel kind of colored bases. Um, you can see these are like the colors here. These are the the colors of the polishes in the collection So I do think that they did a good job on the box. It's just not my favorite box out of all of them Still cute though. I do like the the hollow flare they got going on Now this collection is part of their permanent collection once the box sells out in theory You won't be able to buy it again, but you will still be able to get the individual polishes, which is nice I'm glad that She's done very few limited edition runs of things because I really like to be able to, you know, talk about things on my channel later on that maybe came out several years ago and not have people be unable to pick them up. And one really cool thing about this launch, they did do a surprise reveal and she relaunched her holiday box from last year, which I wasn't able to get. Um, I guess they had a few left in the warehouse, and so they had a very limited stock. I got notified by a tweet um, that somebody somebody had noticed they were restocked. I jumped on the website. This was at around 12 o'clock, and I scooped it up as fast as I could. And I checked like 10 minutes later, I think, and they were all sold out. So I was really lucky to get one of these. Um, I did have one polish from this collection. I did already have Play Rosé, but I really wanted the box and I was going to buy all the other polishes eventually. So having a duplicate that I can hang on to for later, give away to somebody or even trade for somebody else's polishes, that's always nice for me to have. So I am excited to have both these boxes. The only boxes I need now are the Rainbow Box, the Unicorn Skins Box, and her initial launch box. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my hands on any of those. I checked on Mercari and I checked on eBay, hundreds of dollars for those things, just for the boxes, not even the polishes inside. So we'll see if that becomes a possibility in the future, or maybe she'll do something similar to what she did with this guy and release the limited stock that they have had lying around. Um, who knows, we'll keep our eyes out. So anyways, without further ado, why don't we hop right into the swatches and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts. So first, let's just take a quick look at the box. You can see we've got these squares and rectangles and they're all different colors. And these are the colors of the, the actual polishes in the collection. And then once you open it up, you've got this really beautiful reflective kind of like starry night sky type of hollow. And it says you deserve a medal on the cover. I like all the little silly little like pun phrases she throws in her boxes here. And then first in the collection, we're gonna swatch Cheap Champagne. This one is described as a metallic foil with silver foil flakes in a rose gold base. Um, it's really pretty. It does kind of look like Play Rosé from her first holiday collection, but it's a completely different finish. When you put them side by side, you can definitely see one is foil and one is glitter, so you do have a different look with those. Um, on the first coat, you can see a little bit sheer. I was struggling to work with it, not because of the formula, but just because of the angle at which I was painting my nails under the camera. So you will see me a few times in these swatches go back and rework things a little bit, but that's just because of my setup. I'm still getting used to it. But if you finagle it a little bit here, you can see that I've got pretty much full opacity in the two coats here. And as you can see from the swatch photo, it did uh, cover my nail line very nicely. 
Next is Mint Money. This is what I think a uh, favorite in the collection for most. It's a really icy green. The website describes it as a metallic foil with silver foil flakes in a green base, or uh, sorry, a mint green shade. And it definitely is. I, I said in the end, like it looks like an Andy's mint a little bit to me. And again, it's gonna take two to three coats to build up. I did all mine in two. The website does say two to three, but I found that if you do like a little bit of a thicker application on that second coat, you definitely can get it opaque. You can see me working and reworking a million times though because <laughs> I was having trouble, like I said, with the angle. But here we go in with the second coat and you can see it's definitely thickening up, building up. And because these are so reflective, uh, my lighting is a little bit funny. So it was hard for me to capture these on film and with my camera. But that was just because I'm still learning about the lighting process. It has nothing to do with the polishes themselves. Number three is Cold Shoulder. This is the darkest color in the collection. It is a metallic foil with silver foil flakes in a pale cobalt blue base. And this one, I think that in the first holiday collection, there was also uh, kind of a blue like this. It seems like Christine really likes these types of darker like blues um, and I do too I have a lot of blues in my collection but I don't have a ton of foils so this you know this doesn't really overlap anything I already have first coat you can see that kind of like jellyish base um, but it does build quite easily you can see especially because of the amount of flakes that are just packed into these bottles like when you pull the bottles out they are just like crammed in there stuck to the sides it's almost hard to see the color inside because there are so many flakes but once you put it on the nail it is really pretty you get that that full color effect next we have fake date i think the name of this one is pretty funny just because it just reminds me of like uh, a lot of like story tropes in, in holiday uh, stories and um, movies and shows and things like that. This one is described as a metallic foil with silver foil flakes in a pale lilac shade. Now, this isn't a color that I would look at and immediately think like Christmas or holiday or anything like that. But the more I think about it, like these really pale frosty shades, they kind of remind me of tinsel you know my grandma has so many christmas decorations all tinselly and things like that and that's kind of what i think of when i see these this particular one i only did two coats i think it probably could have benefited from a third just because it is a lighter color but you can't really see my nail line in the swatch photo so i think it's okay the final polish is gift receipt and this is a metallic foil with silver foil and a sterling silver shade this is probably the only one that I have anything remotely close to in my collection. When you see foils, typically it's like a silver or a gold foil on the market. So I probably could have done without this one. But honestly, this is better than any other silver foil that I've ever had. It is, like I said about the previous polishes, just jam packed with these foil flakies. And in a silver foil, it, it just kind of makes it like 10 times more opaque. 10 times more glitzy it reminds me of like a disco ball in a way and as you can see like it is just thickening right up it is completely opaque in two coats for me and i'm really excited to wear this one uh as like a new year's kind of polish here so what did you guys think of this collection honestly for me it's not my top collection but i do like it I don't have a ton of foils in my collection. It's just not my favorite finish. It doesn't call out to me. But when I was putting these on, they were really pretty. My favorite is Mint Money, and I think that's a lot of people's favorites. I keep seeing people tweeting at her about Mint Money. They really like it. For me, it reminds me of like an Andy's Mint, like the, the foil wrapper on the outside, which also reminds me of Olive Garden because that's what you get when you go to Olive Garden is too many... Andy's Mints with your check. But I think that these are all really pretty. I also really liked Gift Receipt, the silver one, because I feel like that's like a perfect New Year's color. It reminds me of the ball dropping in Times Square. So I'll probably wear that one on New Year's Eve. 
This is the last Holo Taco release in 2020. So I look forward to seeing what's gonna come out in 2021 and how the brand's gonna grow and expand. I hope to see more finishes. I hope to see them expand on their other finish lines. And I'm really just excited to see what comes next. So anyways, let me know down below. Did you pick up this collection? What was your favorite? Were you able to get the 2019 collection as well? Or did you already have it? Let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.